Uh, Dan, how would you rate the job that Brandon Saley has done this year uh, as we are at the official halfway point of the season? Well, if Ryan just did right now is grab a hand grenade, pull the pin, and say, here <laughs> oh, you go, no, 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 never mind. Dan. No, no, if you, you want wanna... me, if you want me to do it, I can do it. But... No, no, no. We, we know that you want to give your time up to other people so other voices are heard. You see uh... what happens? You see what happens? No. <laughs> <laughs> you make me nervous. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's. A, I mean, you guys can answer. It's up to you. I don't care. No, no. Go ahead. You're talking about the job Brandon Saley has done so far, right? Yeah. I just think. Uh, <laughs> I just think he's partly to blame, but so is Tom Telesco. Like, and you know what? I'll take it a step further. Unless I get freaking killed, where's President of Football Operations at on this hierarchy? Also, I think everyone is to blame in management. Because all I'm going to, yeah, exactly. Nepo baby. All I'm going to say is what I've uh, said a couple times on what's up bolts. Uh, I see some of these players out there and I'm like, damn dude. Like these are the same players. Some of them that got Anthony Lynn fired. So I don't understand in what world do they think all of a sudden they're advancing like Trey Pipkins serviceable. Was he the answer? Was he the truth as freaking, uh, Oh no. It was, uh, Paul Pierce was the truth or the answer? No, the answer was Allen Iverson, right? Was he the truth? Clearly, it's showing that he's not because he's (laughs) regressing. Uh, You know, I wasn't a huge fan of that whole let's move Salyer from tackle to guard, and I think you're seeing that a little bit more now. He might have done better at right tackle. Exactly. And same with Zion, moving him from one to the other, you know. And just overall – I haven't liked some of the management of these games. I've talked about I, I'm all for going it on going for it on fourth down, but don't be stupid either when you're doing this crap, dude. Like and uh You see Keenan Allen, by the way, on ESPN, he was asked about it. And he oh, goes, right. Nine times out of ten, I'm cool with it. What about that other one percent? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's and what he's I'm like, saying. Uh, yeah. I kind of go, oh, but you know what? Yeah. I'm going to ride with my dog. It is what, and it, I'm is. Like, yeah, it is what it is. So I think well, you know, what he put on Twitter last year when he was hurt. And yeah, in exactly. Cleveland. Exactly. But that's the what I'm saying, though, right? Doing. That's what I'm saying, though, right? You asked me his job performance, and I think the record perfectly matches it. It's been average in these games because <laughs> either they're putting the wrong personnel in, in my opinion, or they there wasn't any any movement. And, like, the other thing is, like I said, you lost Mike Williams last year to freaking wide receiver screens. And what's the first thing you do with this new hot shot? Run his ass through wide receiver screens and he gets, you know, injured and everything else. So that's just my thing. I think very much it's – I think the record perfectly reflects it. Uh, I think there's been a lot of games where they could have won and should have won, but for whatever reason, either management or whatever else, they couldn't do it. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Well that's said, Dan. Yeah. Big, uh, no, I'm with I'm with. He per, put it perfectly there. He's he's a the record is 500. He's done a half decent job, and so I'm with I'm with Dan. I he put he put it perfectly there. Uh, Gilbert, yeah, you know, like he mentioned with Telesco, I think Telesco and Staley are are, are a package now. Like if, if one goes, the other one has to go too. If both if one stays, the other has to stay too. So they don't make the playoffs. What happens? Uh, I will say they both have to let, get let go. Like that's already year eleven for Telesco. What else can you do? And then like you know that story from ESPN saying that he had to apologize for a JC Jackson. <laughs> and you know I started thinking about it. And I'm like I think that was a lot. Of, like that was a lot of players probably talking to him in the locker room and saying like, yeah, that that was bad. And that tells you that like this guy was really bad. That we're willing to talk to a reporter about what happened behind closed doors. So. uh I'm sure maybe even Telesco didn't even care. He probably was like, yeah, I, I deserve to take the L on that one. But there's been a lot of L's on Telesco Aero. They didn't like to kind of take an L quickly. That one he did, you know, and credit to him on that one. But there's a whole lot. And it shows on, on the field. And that's up to Staley to kind of get the guys going. But his defense hasn't been up to par. Like, you know, they got the turnovers. Like, if you're not going to be perfect, you know, defending the pass, you better get Thule, Mack, and Bosa to get some strip sacks and make plays. And they did it against a terrible Zach Wilson. So, like Dan and Victor said, they're four and four. So uh, you know me uh, for, for now. I like to I like to give grades and rankings. So I'll give it a C. Like you know, it's not like uh, Josh McDaniels, but right? every no. kind of like excuse. Yeah. Okay, this guy like couldn't make it, but he, it's a it's a C. And I always say like give a coach three years, and it's his year three, and it's not going well. But if they somehow take off, and those games we're talking about, they're very difficult, and they win them, then yeah, give them another year. But right now it's a C grade, and a, as your job is not secured. 
Your... That, that's my thing too. My bad to jump in real quick. The last two wins in my mind, like Bears for sure, super average. Bears for sure, super average. But in my mind, like, yeah, they beat a good uh, – they did what they needed to against a good Jets defense. But, like, the Zach Wilson stuff, like, I'm just not – I'm not super impressed by it. You know what I mean? Because more than anything, I know if Rodgers was in there, even if they had, you know, the worst offensive line, stuff like that, Rodgers knows how to get around that stuff. It's like he understands it's about getting the ball out quick and not holding on to it. So that's why for me, like, obviously a win's a win in the league and you'll take it. I mean, I'm I'm waiting still before Rogers' gonna, style would have torched these guys. This secondary yeah, last night, yeah, yeah. And wouldn't you say Detroit is a great test? Like, is this a is this it's for one real? Of them. Oh yeah, yeah. One of them. Is this a fluke? No, no, one that, that's this Detroit team is going to tell you everything you need to know about this team moving they're forward. Physical, uh, both sides. They're, they're going to exactly. make, make you work. I, I don't know about both sides, but well, secondary uh, is not as great. But you, I know you're not a Hutchison fan, but yeah. Nah, yeah, no. I'm uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go with this. Yes, you're taking care of the football on offense, but your quarterback's taking the beating of his life. Like Jeez. last year was his ribs. This year it's his middle finger. Like he's taking a couple of shots. You don't want to go with that scenario where in a couple of seasons after the fourth preseason game, he's announcing to everybody that he's retiring because of all the shots he's taken and that he just can't stand it anymore. I mean, you need to do something, but I just I think it's been below average to be honest. I thought they literally could have won week one. They could have won week two. Uh, I thought they sh- my bad. I think they should have won week one. I think they should have won week two. By the way, some Dolphins beat reporter comes out and says, "Well, actually, the Dolphins have beaten a, uh, a team with a winning record. The oh, Chargers no. are four and four. And I'm like, I was I couldn't believe I couldn't believe that tweet. I was like, wow. I'm like. I guess there you go. There's your participation. Yeah. Not until award. Monday. It was waiting until Monday after they won the game to say. I, hey, I just yeah. couldn't yeah. believe that one. I was like, wow. Um, but I just think it's been a below average job. I don't think he's done anything where you're like, oh wow, okay, like this has done well, this has gone well. The defense has been a mess all year. Uh, I know they picked it up these last two weeks, but I mean, who knows? Maybe with Joey Bosa now being healthy, maybe they can do that. My only my my same issue is still. Why is Derwin James playing all the way back there? Like, start. You need to put him more in. It was like, great though on Monday. Yeah, yeah. On was. Monday, he came up and he that I I thought he kind of set the tone with that hit on Brees Hall. Like, hey, we came here, and I don't know if you saw uh, Pop's tweet, but I guess like Derwin before the game, like he shoved Justin and got like was getting the whole team hyped, and he really got them going and juiced and everything. And I've asked the player before, and he said that th- that dude's like when he's on, like when he's hyping the team up, that they just get really fired up. So, but I mean, it's just I think they need to start playing Derwin. I think more closer to the box. I think that's going to help them out a lot more. I thought they they blitzed him quite a few th- times. I thought that was that was smart. But this weekend, you're not you're playing Jared Goff. I mean, I know he's been yeah. good, but he's also had crap performances. I didn't think he played exceptionally well against the Raiders. He yeah, got the crap beat out of him by the Ravens. Like he's six, still Jared yeah. Goff. I mean, I think they need to do. They this is going to be a good test this weekend uh, to see what kind of team they're going to be. Because then they go to Green Bay. Green Bay is going to be tough. I know that. I think Green Bay is going to be similar to the Jets game, where it's going to be low scoring. It's going to be a defensive matchup. Obviously, the Green Bay Packers aren't playing well, but their defense is still pretty good. Um, but. I know it's not a preview yet. Uh, you guys are going to cover it on What's Up Bowls, but like, like Dan, aren't you afraid that like if they bring the house, just dump off of Jamar Gibbs, take it to the house, like you you, you dare and you kind of bait, or the Amon Ross A. Brown on a quick slant, take it to the house, like you better be tackling against the Lions. If no, and, and they're coming back anyone, and they're, they're getting healthy. They, they're they like, yeah, actually, Montgomery could be a, a ground and pound. Like you have a lot to account yeah. for. So it's tough to be aggressive, but I get your point though, Fernando. I'm just saying. If anyone watches tape, these guys have a hard time against screens and they have a hard time with putting their best receiver on one of these jokers who gives them 10 yards cushions. I'm going to, I'm doing timing routes and play action the whole time. If I can, and I'm going to run at some of these guys in the middle, see how good of a uh, run defenders they are. So I haven't liked the addition of Eric Hendricks either. I, I don't yeah, think he's, I'm with you. he's yeah. missed. He's missed tackles. Like yeah. yesterday there was two opportunities on third down where he could have tackled Brees Hall and, and he let it slip through.